So we're caught up in drama Everybody's talking, everybody's talking We're caught up in problem Everybody's talking, everybody's talking What is up guys? So today we have some more Ghost Recon's Wildlands I did another gameplay video yesterday So I'm just gonna go in more depth this time I uh, I didn't go in much depth last time So yeah I don't know why I got my car Anyways, so I'm gonna talk about like driving and stuff The driving in this game is actually really It's better, it's actually a lot better than expected to be Because it's just like so easy and actually fun though. Like most games you just drive to get around. But this game's actually fun to drive in. Like if you're gonna like drive well like it's not like the game to choose if you're gonna drive in, but it's not bad for driving. I'll just say that. And then we got some more shooting. Honestly I like using the sniper. Cause it's just one shot, one kill. For most things. Some heavy duty from far away won't get like one shot, one kill. But yeah. Okay, so we're gonna try to find a helicopter. Ooh, I like the maps, how it's actually like quite big. It just keeps going and you all have, and you have to like f explore it too. So the more you move around, then the more the map opens up. So it's actually like a giant open world mission game. If you do Call of Duty GTA combined, you'll probably get this game. It's like super fun and in its own way, per se. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to go and see if we can get a helicopter. Usually they show up on the map, but they, I guess they didn't show up this time. I really like how the storms, they like really, the detail they have with the storms. I mean, this rain, like if the HUD wasn't there and the graphics were like a tiny bit better, this could actually look like a movie, being honest. But yeah, you'll just see lightning strike places randomly if you just look out. Okay. See right there, lightning just struck. It's really detailed. And then some parts will open up like that. Like, look at this. This is literally like what real storms look like. Some clouds are darker and some are not. And some go through the not darker clouds. But just look at the detail on this. It's like really, really detailed. And I actually really like the gameplay, I really like the controls, except for there's just like one control that just like gets me and confuses me, it's to get in cars you have to hold a uh, square, which I, like, I'm pretty sure every, not every other game, but a lot of other games are triangle, so I keep pressing triangle to try to get in cars and stuff, but it won't let me. I don't know if you can change it, I haven't really tried to change it yet. So, I don't know, if you could change it, then that'd be pretty, pretty great. But I just love, I love the scale points you can get. Like, you can get, you can, like, upgrade your drones a lot. I haven't really done that, because I sort of just got the game. And then items, you, I like the parachute. I like how you can jump out and get a parachute. And I think you can, I don't know if it's unlimited parachutes, because I haven't tried that yet. I love the zoom and everything you can get and upgrade thermal vision oh that's really cool I didn't even know you can get thermal vision a flare gun I really want the flare gun that looks cool there's a whole bunch of stuff here rebel support I cannot speak rebel support how you can get all this stuff I really I want to get this you can just get any, I don't know, any vehicle, you can probably just get, like, a, you can request a helicopter or something, guns for hire, I don't know what that means. Looks like he just goes in, mo, motor, 
Heck, I still can't speak. Diversion. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, all this stuff is really awesome. Spotting. Oh, I... Okay, I really like all this. And it... Most games... I don't really like the games that you can't unlock stuff, because then the whole time you just... You already have everything, and then... Why you... You just are playing because... It's fun. I mean, I do like games that are fun, but I also like being able to unlock things and being able to figure out things because that also makes the game more fun knowing that you can do more and see more and have more and stuff. And that's also why, see, the map is covered here so that you can unlock it and see what it looks like and stuff. Oh, here we go. We got a helicopter. I'm not going to do a start mission quite today because this is just for gameplay but I will get to that oh that's a civilian okay but yeah and I love how you can like switch from side to side and I like that I think I already said that in my last video how I like how when you aim it goes in and if you don't want it to go and you don't have to you can just shoot but yeah that is pretty cool I, there is one more game like that, but it's like hard because you have to keep it like that or change it, and I don't like it. This way is just easy because it just keeps it like that. I was trying to do this mission earlier, and it wasn't quite. It wasn't hard. I just wasn't like too into it. I just kind of stopped. Okay. You got some guys over here. Is he back or not? Okay, I don't think he is. I just, I just, if he is, that's gonna be his way. Or if he is, that's gonna be his way. Okay, so he's obviously not gonna die. So, I like, the helicopters in this game are actually pretty sweet when I just played this game. It, uh, reminded me, a, uh, like, a lot of Just Cause 3 because of the helicopters in the game. I mean, it's not like quite the same because it's more realistic. But yeah, and the car driving is better than Just Cause 3, but Just Cause 3 has its fun in its own type of way. I like games that are realistic also, but I like games that you can just mess around in like Just Cause 3. But I like this game because I, I really just want like a realistic shooting game and this has like everything in it open world gameplay shooting helicopters everything storms i mean i already talked about it but i am the storms are just crazy realistic like if you just look down it is dark and stuff like it it's supposed to be and i love that you can shoot okay the shooting like reminds me a ton of just cause 3 it sounds like just the same too. Oh, and if you seat change, it just stalls and goes down. And I think that's like awesome. Because if you need to go down really fast, you can just do that. And then at the last minute, you can just come back into it. That's super fun to stall and stuff. I don't, I don't know if you can do that in any other games, but I just love... Because I was trying to find out a way to, like, go down uh, more slow... No, more fast. And then I was, like, just messing around with the buttons, and I pressed a uh, circle, the seat change, and I just, like, stalled down super fast. And I was like, oh, shoot, that's pretty awesome. I, I'm still confused what the purple ones are, though. Every time I shoot them, like, more come back, and then... It's just super confusing. Let's see, change. And then, oh my gosh. I don't even know what they are. They just keep, like, coming after me. Oh, he's already dead. Okay. The sounds when you change to wood and stuff, it's, like, so real. I just love it. Okay, where... What am I trying to do? I see it working here, so... Oh, shoot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fall back. I don't want to fall back. There we go. Shoot. Oh, and the revive. I like how you can 
when you die, you don't die right away. You can have your teammate come and stab you with something. A syringe or whatever. It looks like a syringe. And I like how he can, like, revive you and stuff. Because when I first played, I was like, oh, I died. And then my teammate came, and I was like, oh, wait, what? I'm back alive. So, yeah, that was, that was, like, pretty awesome. But I think if you die twice, you just automatically die no matter what. Oh, shoot. See, here, I'm probably gonna die, so I'll just show you. Oh, okay, so yeah, I did die. So, if you die twice, then they don't reheal you. It just, say, it just says kill in act, killed in action. And if all three of your teammates are dead, and then you die, you can't get healed because, or if you, so if all your teammates are in, like, last stand, I'm using Call of Duty words, then, and if you don't heal them in time, and you get shot or something, then you then they can't heal you and you just die on the spot. So <laughs> I really like all these um, browse hints. There's 98, so that's like really a lot. Like parachuting with the right skill unlocked, you can parachute from aircraft using square or base jump from any elevated surface using. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. I thought it could just be from parachutes. Oh, that's actually a lot more cool now. You can, like, jump up on mountains and then jump off. And just press X and then parachute. That's actually really sweet. And I love... I, I just love the graphics. They're really... Cool. Cool, that's the word. They're really detailed. Just look... I already said the rain earlier, but... Uh, I just love how they make the rain. It, the rain makes everything so much more realistic. If you look at the ground... It looks crazy realistic. And when you shoot, it just stuff comes up and flies. It's like really real realistic. And if you throw a frag, it shows you what, how it's going to go. And it's not it doesn't like explode like everywhere. Oh. And there's even random car crashes. That's actually pretty awesome. I never noticed that before. People just crash into each other for no reason. Oh, shoot. The sniping in this game is just too fun. They could make this just uh, only a sniping game and I'd still play it for quite a while. But yeah, there's like a whole bunch. And then there's a bunch of other guns. You can upgrade your drone. I already talked about the drone. But still, let's just. Let's see if this kills him. Did it? Oh, it did. That's sweet. Okay, let's just take over this base. Or not base, whatever this is. Oh, that was like a quick scope. I love how it's like kind of got the Call of Duty. See, if you look at the. Uh, the crosshairs, there's a arrow going up above it. That means if you aim, you'll go up. And there was one earlier where I was, like, ducked, and it said if I aim, I'll go, yeah, look at this. And it goes right. That's, that, I think that's, like, really cool. That's sort of, sort of in, uh, Call of Duty 2. Or not, like, Call of Duty 2, but Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, also. I don't know if it's in other, any other Call of Duty games. But... Just look at the detail. Look at this tree just like falling because the wind's pushing on it. Now that is crazy detail. Like this game, they put detail in it that barely like anyone will notice, but they make it as real as it can, as real as it can get with this technology. And I like that you can do night shift. I don't need it right now though. But it's super useful in the dark. Just use a night shift to see around things. Because it does get really dark. And if you don't have night shift then it's like hard to see. Most games just get dark and then they don't have anything to like help you see. So it's just dark the whole game and then you're just playing in like pure darkness and you don't know how to 
do anything. But this game, when it gets night, you can just immediately night shift. And it, it also looks like pretty cool. Also, also looks pretty cool. Also. Fall back every time. Why? I just I shot him. He's like almost dead. Okay. Got him. You know, I'm gonna tech supplies real quick so I can get some more stuff. There we go. Ooh, four skills available. Nice. Okay. And the side missions, I love side missions. Like, a lot of games have side missions, but they're not, like, really good. It's just, like, doing one thing or, like, shooting one person. But when you have to take a whole base and, like, do a couple things for a side mission, uh, it's, like, super cool. Super fun. I've been waiting for a game to come out that's like this. I mean, like, I just made a video now. It's, it has been out for quite a while, but still. When you mix, like, realistic shooting and an open world gameplay, it just, it's crazy awesome. So, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. It's getting pretty dark. Oh, yeah, and planes just fly around. I was on a helicopter and I just crashed the plane and then it fell down, which is awesome because you're not the only plane in the air. There is other planes. That's another thing with detail that like not that many people will notice. But yeah, it is crazy. And yeah, so that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe and have a good day.